Sean, maybe one of your best periods of the year followed by uh, maybe one of your worst periods of the year. How, how do you explain that transition? Well, I think that's, you know, obviously the, the key to the game is is not not playing our game in the second period. And, you know, and obviously when you look back at it, it's it's managing the puck. It's, um, you know, we, we knew they were going to come out strong. Um, you know, they're not just going to kind of lay over at home. So we knew they were going to come, and it's about, for us, we're going to have to learn how to manage some momentum. Um, you know, live to fight another day sometimes, and it's the blue lines, you know, a lot of it. Um, you know, in this league, you, you got to defend really well to win games, and, um, you know, outscoring uh, outscoring some of your problems is, is not the way to do it. So we're going to have to figure out how to do that, and um, you just got to play like we did in the first period, second period, not us, first period was us. And also it's just about gathering yourself, I would imagine, too, when things start to spiral the other way. Yeah, sometimes. Dude, just sometimes just a shift that's that's nothing is, is fine, just to, just to calm everything down and punt it out and um, you know even if it's even if it's not a you know a, a offensive chance shift if it's just a shift that's that's not in your end sometimes that's just a little push the other way to tilt the tilt the ice in our favor and that's what we got to do I know it's tough after a road trip like this you want to stay positive and how do you do that as you head back home well I think you know there, there's a there's a fine line being positive and, and being you know looking ourselves in the mirror and kind of looking at you know where these mistakes are happening and what these mistakes are and if we're repeating them um, so like we said we've played some good hockey on this trip but uh, the name of the game uh, obviously is is to come away with some points and not as many as we wanted to on this trip so um, there's definitely things we're gonna we're gonna need to clean up Sean, what went right on that one shift there in the, in the first period you get the goal and the assist you kind of talk through what happened on that shift well I think most of it's just simple um, and I, I think it, it's repeatable things that um, you know, we've done those a lot of times and they don't have to end up in goals. But, um, you know, I think it can be a, a way we can, a blueprint for us to try and score goals. It's, it's a bunch of, you know, singles that up in a home run. It's not, you know, swing out of the park. So um, you hit a few of those and, you, and sometimes you're, you're, uh, you get out of the park. Zach, how do, you, how do you explain that second period as well as you guys played in the first? Uh, just not good. Um, it seems like for the last string of games we're just taking one period off um you know going all the way back to the washington game and even nashville game it's just like these one period lapses where we just give up like five six odd man rushes a couple great a's and you know we just shoot ourselves in the foot make it really hard for us to win um so i mean it's just something that we have to learn as a team um you know there's a lot of young guys in this room and it is a bit of a learning process. So um, sometimes we just got to get the cuteness out of our game. I think a lot of times instead of just playing behind, we're trying to make lateral east-west plays. They're getting picked off, going the other way, or uh, it's a tough read on a pinch and we're giving up an odd man. So um, just picking and choosing our spots and taking a little more pride in defending. Is it learning to play with the lead also and, and maybe to keep the, keep the pressure on? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's tied into all those little um, high-risk chances that we take with the lead that are just instead of taking those chances, just play behind. I mean, a lot of times anyways, defense leads to offense. Every coach in the league says it. Um, so I think we take a little more pride in defending. It's going to lead to way more offense. For a moment there, your line was just uh, on fire. Yeah. I mean, what, what was going into that right there? I don't know. I mean, we kind of just, I mean, playing with curls the last couple of games, it's been great. He talks so much on the ice. Like, even if you have your head up and your eyes up, you still, you hear him just kind of giving you another voice. So um, it's it's huge playing with him, and it's nice like when you're able to expect what your line mate's going to do. Sure. You can put yourself in, in the right spot. So, um, I mean, it just clicked. It's kind of crazy that they both went in like that. But, um, you know, that's kind of when it happens when you least expect it to. So. Yeah, we're trying to figure it out ourselves, obviously. We've, uh, we've got to dissect the, the first period, and it's just we... Yeah, we thought the same thing. I mean, we, you know, we actually come in after the first period and says, likely, for sure, it's our best period. And then we're like, well, we don't want to go in and praise too much. You know, we got to keep the foot on the pedal. And and then it just, we couldn't sustain it. Um, you know, for whatever reason, we lost a lot of battles in the second period. We foot races. Um, we looked tired in the second period. And, um, you know, we got to find a way um, to sustain that type of a game 
um, right through. And, you know, obviously third period was okay, but, um, but when, you know, a couple of things go bad, we, you know, we can't compound it by another, you know, situation or mistake. And, and then, uh, you know, and then we started chasing it. But, um, you know, so I, I think you, you, you make a good point is that we watch that first period and we figure out, you know, exactly how we need to play. Um, but we need to do it for 60 minutes, not 20. Is that a process, too, to, to learn how to play with the lead and, and learn how to gather yourselves when things start to go the other way a little bit? Yeah, you know what? It was like, obviously, you know, they scored two and then and then they get that one early in the PK. And it wasn't like the bench sagged. It was just it was just like they started getting confident and pushing and momentum turned their way. And, um, you know, and then we did catch it a little bit, obviously, when it's 3-2. Um, but, you know, again, we've got to be a little more resilient in that area and continue to play, you know, how we can play. Some of the guys in there talked about little things like just not trying to make a mistake at the wrong time. It's just trying to, like, you know, reading the game. You can go out there and have a shift where, you know, you just get the puck deep and that's a win. Is that, is that the kind of little things that teams have to learn as the season goes by? Yeah, and we actually, like, again, in the first period after goals uh, that we scored, we... We talked about that on the bench. Is just let's get pucks in and just continually get after it, um, you know, and, and make them play, um, you know, and go 200 feet, uh, you know, to to try to score goals. So, um, you know, unfortunately we didn't do it for the the 60 minutes. But um, but again, there's a lot of positives out of this game. But it's frustrating that um, you know we have the start that we do and we can't uh, we can't close the deal.